Hello, today's quick video is going to be showing you our new ServiceNow to Altiris integration that's available in ServiceNow. So first off, um, here is in my instance, let me go ahead, I'm going to find one of my computers. So my search field, type in computers, and I've got a little demo machine here. Let me find my Windows 7. So guys, what I have actually done here is we are importing in um, computers into our ServiceNow instance. So here on my Windows 7 machine, let me scroll down, and you're going to see here inventory that is being picked up in my Altiris environment is being sent to my ServiceNow instance. So here I can see the list of my drives that are available, how much hard drive space is free. Here I can see my network adapters, what's my IP address. I can see the software that's currently installed on my machine as well. Now, some very nice things that you're also going to see down here. See here where it says related links? From here, I can go ahead and deliver tasks to my endpoints um, that are connecting to my Altiris notification server. So let me go ahead and do this here. Let me go ahead and click on Altiris Agent Tasks. So here, I can go ahead and send a basic inventory. I can tell it to restart the computer. I can tell it to restart an agent or just tell it, hey, 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 Altiris agent, go ahead and check into my uh, notification server right now. All this is working here because we of the integration between ServiceNow and Altiris allows the two instances to uh, communicate to each other. Also notice here where it says software delivery. So when I click on software delivery, I can go ahead and specify which applications do I actually want to deliver. So here, let me go ahead and, and hit my look up here. Now here's a list of the different applications that I have available. So here as an example, let's say I wanted to push out Notepad. Let me go ahead and select Notepad and I'll click OK. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch over to my little agent. So let me bring him up and you're going to see here in just a moment, it's going to go ahead and install Notepad on my Windows 7 machine. And here we go. It actually just finished here. If I look at the task history, you can see the date and time here. It went ahead and installed Notepad um, to my endpoint. Now, guys, a couple different ways that we can have this deliver software to my machines using this integration component. Let me go back to my instance and service now. Find it right in the computer list was one way here, right? Question comes up, well, Pat, what if someone makes an incident for me? Can, can I just do it right from an incident? You betcha. So here, let me go back into here where it says incidents. Let me let me look at some of my uh, new instances I'll make here, incident. So here, configuration item. Well, my machine's called Windows 7 Pro 32. So when I select that, now, now remember here, it's actually reading in all the information from my Altier server. We're importing it into service now. If I were to save this here, save my incident, let me scroll to the very bottom and you're going to see these related links. So right from here, if I had gotten a software request, a ticket came in, Pat, I'm in a meeting, I need to go to a meeting or I need a WebEx installed, can you push it out to me immediately? Uh, yes, I, I can definitely do that all from the ticket. And the same thing here, if I click on the browse, here's a list of the applications that I can deliver to my machine. And ultimately what happens here, ServiceNow is communicating to my Altira server to push out the tasks. So we looked at applying a uh, piece of software through an incident, right? Now, keep in mind here, guys, I, I have a couple in my lab here as an example. When you saw me here do software delivery, these are really calling your guys' existing software delivery tasks. Uh, I typically get a lot of questions about that, like, hey, Pat, do I have to recreate them? No, uh, we can reuse your existing tasks. And, you know, for people that are listening to this video, hey, I leverage, you know, jobs. Can I call upon jobs? Yeah, absolutely. I could I could call upon jobs. I could do re-imaging even right from here. It, all that's happening here is ServiceNow is talking to that notification server to deliver and push out jobs and tasks. Okay, that's one option. Now guys, I wanna show one last thing here for anyone that's also let me be leveraging the employee self-service portal. Uh, this is within the, your, your ServiceNow instance as well, where, where you know you could brand this to your company's logo and whatnot, and, 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 and this, the, the front end here can, be, can look any way you really want. 
So here, uh, I could go ahead and request a piece of software. Let me go ahead and click on that. And I've made available here a number of different titles that, that are available. Um, you saw me earlier, I did Notepad. So, so in this example, I'll say, okay, I want to push out Firefox. Let me go ahead and select Firefox. And then again, I can specify here, what is the machine that I want to have? Now, now guys, keep in mind here, in my, in my demo environment here, I've got a different machine here. But if I was a, a, a user that was logging into this employee self-service, could we automatically figure out which machine this should be on based on who's logged in, who the primary user is of this machine? Absolutely. So here, I'll just, um, actually my machine's called Windows 7 Pro. So I can specify again, here, here is the machine that I want. But again, this could potentially be automatically populated depending on what you guys need. Um, and then last off here, I can order or I could add it to cart and keep on per, um, shopping if you would. But here, let me go ahead and I'll hit order now. And there we have it. So now in a couple minutes here, the notification server is going to receive um, a task from ServiceNow saying, hey, that machine, it needs to get that software installed and it will go ahead and push out my Mozilla update. So actually, I moved kind of fast there. Hopefully you saw it. Um, you can now see it installing Firefox onto my endpoint. Thanks for watching our video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, that I'm sure my marketing guy will put a logo on the end of this video and uh, we'll be happy to jump on a call to talk through um, anything that you saw in today's video. Thank you.